Well, Stu, this is all related to President Trump apparently calling for Ukrainian leaders to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden's son. Now, some Democrats are saying the president crossed a line, while President Trump says his political opponents are looking for reasons to investigate him, and Vice President Biden should be the one that's investigated. Committed. U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the president has breached his constitutional responsibilities. The actions of the Trump presidency revealed a dishonorable fact of the president's betrayal of his oath of office, betrayal of our national security, and betrayal of the integrity of our elections. Pelosi's Tuesday announcement starts an impeachment investigation. We spoke with UCF political science professor Dr. Aubrey Jewett, who says the impeachment process is more about politics than law. The Constitution says that impeachable offenses are things like treason, bribery, high crimes, and misdemeanors. But it doesn't really define what any of those things specifically mean. Dr. Jewett also tells us public perception will play a large role on whether the inquiry findings will damage President Trump's image. President Trump politically could come out of this better off than as he goes into it, quite frankly. We don't know that will happen, but it could. Central Florida's congressional leader sent us statements about the announcement. Democratic Representative Val Deming says in part, President Trump has violated a sacred trust, abusing the power of the presidency for his personal gain. He has left us no other choice but to begin a full-blown impeachment inquiry before he can do any more harm to our freedoms, security, and rule of law. And Republican so Senator Rick Scott's office told us in part, Senator Scott wants to see the facts about exactly what happened with both the president and Joe Biden. In the real world, when allegations are made, you reserve judgment until you know the facts. But the Democrats have no interest in the facts. Now, at the end of this inquiry, the House Judicial Committee and then the House will vote on whether to impeach the president and bring that case on to the Senate for conviction. Now, you may remember the Senate is currently controlled by Republicans and a two thirds vote is needed to remove a sitting president. That's never been done before. I'm Chris Guardaro for West 2 News. Chris, thank you.